Hey, how's it going? If you are an IPTV user, then you might be looking for the best IPTV player for your live TV. The majority of IPTV players are slow, buggy, buffering, or hard to set up. So, to avoid those problems, I usually suggest using IPTV Smarters Pro player for your IPTV. It's totally free to use and very easy to set up on your Fire Stick or Android TV. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get IPTV Smarters Pro to your device. First of all, you have to get an app, Code and Loader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, you just go to search on your device and here in the search bar, start typing Downloader. As you can see, Downloader already popped out for us at the bottom, so we just click on the app name and that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you get Downloader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. So to set up Downloader, we gotta go to settings. Let's do it right now. So click on that button with the gear icon, then scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Open it. Here you have to enable developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Sticks, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times and do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now the button for me says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So we open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps, from here, you have to locate the loader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device. There it is, open it. And here's the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which you always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast, we got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Iceland right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for NordVPN. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So we gotta go to the list of apps on your device. There it is, open it, open up the loader, wait until it loads for you, and then here on the left side menu, make sure to click on home and not on browser. So once again, make sure you click on home, and then here in the search bar, we gotta enter a link, which is going to be iptvsmarters.com. So let's enter it. Once again, it's IPTV Smarters. Dot com. So here we go, you can see the whole link on your screen right now, make sure to enter it exactly as you see and do not make any mistakes, because obviously if you make a mistake, the link is not going to work. Then you have to click on go, and while the website is loading, make sure to subscribe my channel so you will get even more content about Fire Sticks, as well as please hit the like button below this video. It really helps me a lot and this way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now when the website opened, you need to click on that sandwich button and from here go to downloads. So we click on downloads right here 
and then we got the keep scrolling until we see the direct download apk file button click on it and now in a couple of moments the download should start for us usually it doesn't take long but of course it all depends on your connection speed if the download doesn't start just click on that click here button yep and now the download should start then click on install and wait until IPT Smarters gets installed to your fire stick. After that, don't click on open yet, instead press on done, because this way you'll be able to delete the installation files, as we don't need them anymore on your device. So click on delete and then delete once again. Now finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device. There it is, open it, scroll down, and here at the bottom you'll see IPTV Smarters, which we just downloaded. Now, I recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on Move to Front. This way, IPTV Smarters is always going to be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Then, let's open the app. Here, you just need to select device type in our case, of course, it's TV, since we are using a Fire Stick. Then scroll down the license agreement and accept it. And from here, it's pretty simple. There are two main ways to add IPTV playlists. One of them is through M3U links, and another one is through Axiom codes. So if your provider gave you M3U link, you click on that button, add any name to your playlist, and then upload it as a file, or select the URL, and then enter it as a link. Then you click on Add a Playlist, and the IPTV playlist is going to appear in your app. There are thousands of live TV providers in the world, so it's totally up to you which service to use. And another way to add a playlist is through the Xtreme codes. If you have that option from your provider, you gotta click on that button then. Then add any name to your playlist, and of course, username, password, and the link, which you got from your service provider. Then you click on Add Playlist, and it's going to appear in the list of your playlist right here. I don't have any playlists added, but in your case it's going to appear right here. Once again, it's totally up to you which playlist to use. The app by default does not have any playlists inside, it's just a player. And that's it for today, hope the guide was helpful and see you next time. Bye bye.